Hey guys, what's up? It's good to be back home here in Israel. I came back over the weekend, got some time to relax with the family, catch up with everybody. It's been generally great to relax. Anyway, it's a new week here and I'll be working on Prospero today. And I've shared with you guys that over the past three months, we've had great progress on Prospero. We kind of reached the, the point where people actually like it and paying for it and it's growing months over months and we're super excited about this. And so I want to share with you what I'll be working on today. Um, I think I've already told you that every time I'm thinking about what to work on next, I'm prioritizing the features kind of in Trello, always looking to what will bring most value and have kind of the most impact on our product, on our company in general. And today I'll be working on the fact that you cannot sign up to Prospero on mobile. It's like, what? <laughs> it's like, what? Is there a product today that is not supported on mobile? How is that even possible? But the fact is that, yeah, you know, the, the landing page of Prospero is responsive on mobile, but you cannot actually, you cannot sign up. And why is that? It's because Prospero basically is a pretty complicated product uh, with a pretty complicated you know, interface and to make that uh, to work on mobile, uh, it will be pretty big effort on our part. And I'm not saying that we're not going to do this, but when we launched, we were always trying to be lean and saying, let's do the minimum that we can do to see if people like this. And if they do, then we're going to put in more effort into that. And so the time has passed, you know, since we've launched in February and we've seen that people are actually using it and we're taking the next step to put in the more effort into making at least half of it responsive and working on mobile. And let me share with you what I mean. So first of all, I feel like we're losing so many people who can't even sign up. So the most important thing is to allow people to actually sign up on mobile. And then we're gonna show them the dashboard, which is what, where you usually begin in Prospero. I still think that we're not gonna be, not gonna allow, at least in this first uh, iteration, to create and edit uh, proposals from mobile, but I do think that at least seeing your proposal, even if you've created a proposal on desktop, you just want to see the status. Did your client open it? Uh, did, the, did they sign it? Or just kind of review your proposal. I think you should be allowed to do that on mobile. Doing the complicated editing, I think we're heading there, but that's not something that we can do in a week. And I think that doing the sign up and showing the dashboard we can do that pretty quickly. So I want to focus on that today because I think it will, again, be super valuable for our already customers that they'll be able to kind of actually see the status of their proposals on mobile and also allow much more people to sign up when they're coming from mobile. So I've started during my flight back from Canada to kind of design the new dashboard. I do have some insights around what's not working today and what I want to achieve with the new design. I'll share that with you in a minute. But first, I want to take that and kind of create a mobile version of that before taking it from Sketch into web. Yeah. Right, so I'm more or less done. Not finished everything I wanted to do, but I gotta leave for the Prospero weekly meeting with Ayal, so I wanna show you quickly what I've done. So basically, this is the dashboard that we have right now. And when I did this, I thought this was pretty cool and pretty neat that you can see the image uh, that you have here and the proposal status. But what happens after I'm using Prospero for a while now, this becomes pretty busy and it's pretty hard to see which project has been signed and uh, opened and it's pretty hard to find stuff. So basically I wanted to simplify this and make this clear. So here's the new dashboard design and what I did here is I removed the image and I made the it's much more focused on the name of the proposal and made the status of the proposal much easier and clear to see. And also I think that this will be much easier to make uh, as a responsive website so this 
will support uh, mobile. So usually when I do mobile designs, landing pages and websites and stuff like that, I only do the desktop and then I don't bother doing the mobile design in Sketch. I simply do this in Webflow. But this time, because I wasn't sure how I want this to break, so I did the mobile design here in Sketch. Um, I tried a couple of things and I've decided that this would be uh, most clear. And then I took this already into Webflow. Um, so this, as you can see, this is already uh, developed. As you can see, the interaction and the hover interaction it's already uh, working and this is also basically it's already responsive and it works on mobile you can see that uh, how it looks it looks okay I haven't finished doing the I haven't finished doing the menu here and the footer anyway it's not a hundred percent ready but I think for about two hours of work it's pretty good and I can start connecting this to the back end so we'll work on this together so I think it's pretty good progress you know it's <laughs> something is better than nothing right now having nothing on mobile it's ridiculous but anyway a weird thing I went into uh, I just wanted to see in the analytics here how many people come into the from the mobile to our landing page turns out it's not that much you see the majority 47% from Mac 37% from window and from iOS and Android to couple together just a little bit above 10% I thought this would be bigger but Still, don't want to lose those 10%. Anyway, heading out for the meeting. great meeting with Ayal. He actually really liked uh, the mobile version that I did. Even though not as many people sign up from mobile as I expected, I thought it would be like around 50%. It ended up being like a little bit more than 10%. I still think that it will be very valuable for our current user. And there's always kind of a debate for me whether we should you know, implement features that will help us grow and make more money rather than features that will help to make our product better for the users that we already have. And it's kind of a tight, tight balance to try to do both of them. Uh, but anyway, I feel good about this version and hopefully we can get started working on it next week. So I think it was a pretty productive day after all. Gotta head out for a client meeting right now. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll catch you tomorrow. <laughs>